Hi guys, I am going to show how to do your own crackle paint. And here is a little sample I did earlier with um, two different techniques with um, just plain old black paper and a maroon or red paint. So it's so super easy. Uh, you take your paper or cardstock or um, chipboard, anything that you want to do, and you take some regular old glue. And you want to generously put that on your paper. Now I use my finger. The finger brings out like the texture like that. And I'll show you the other side in a second. So I just kind of mash it around. I'm going to grab my little non-stick mat. My son cut it up. So my big huge non-stick mat is now that big. Yeah pretty annoyed at that. So you just kind of cover up your surface and you want it pretty thick. And when you're doing this, whichever way your um, strokes are is going to be kind of the way that the cracks go. So you got that covered. Wipe off some of that glue. And then you take <clears throat> regular old um, acrylic craft paint. Um, in this case, it's Apple Barrel. And right on top of your glue, another good thick layer. And this does kind of self-level, so it'll, it'll spread and smooth out. And you don't want to mix this up. Kitty, buzz off smooth that out so you have just a glue layer on the bottom and then your paint layer on top yeah, get this cleaned up a little bit and then I'll show you the other side the other way I did it now for the other side the process is the same just take your glue put a generous amount on there one of these foam brushes and you just kind of paint it on and this is what's given it the lines and it kind of turned out like a wood grain and again however you brush this is how it's gonna end up being the, the way the crackle goes um, I like to let it sit for a few seconds just to kind of let it even out a little bit Then you take paint again. Your brush. And without blending it too terribly much, you want to just kind of spread it out. And that's really it. Then you can hit this with your heat gun. And what causes the reaction is the acrylic paint dries faster than the glue. So it's going to slip and slide and shrink as it dries. And I am going to put a couple of layers between the heat and the cutting mat because I just warped another one today. You can start to see some of the cracks emerging. You're also going to get a different look with the heat gun than you would if you just let it air dry, since it even dries even faster. The cracks are going to be a little bit bigger and um, they're going to kind of look like when you pull the thread out of a skirt or a piece of fabric or something and it kind of gathers what the effect does, which is kind of nice. It's not a big deal, but I prefer to let mine air dry and it gets a more slow, even coverage. I think I'm heating up the glue too much. Go over to this side. And you don't want to heat up a, in particular space for too long because it will start to bubble. 
and that doesn't necessarily look very pretty. So I'm keeping my heat gun moving. So you see how those cracks hit it they're starting to separate that kind of looks like a little like some weathered wood the way the cracks do and this side it's still a little wet but it's got a whole different effect when you use the brush and here's the air dried version that's the brush side and the air dry side. So, no more buying expensive crackle paints. You can do this just with some glue and acrylics. And I haven't figured out exactly how to do the porcelain finish like you would with the, um, the Tim Holtz stuff, which I don't know what I did with my bottle, but, um, yeah, there it is. This gives a more of a porcelain finish, the thin, thin cracks instead of these big peeled kind of cracks. So um, different effects, but you can do this at home. So hope you enjoy this. Let me know how it works out for you.